Okay, here we are for exercise 2C of our Python Beginners uh, Turtle Course. And what we're going to be looking to do this time around is to draw a hexagon. So this shape obviously a little bit different. We now need six sides. Now I'm just going to run from here again. I'm just going to say File, Save As, and pick that one as 2C. Okay, and again, I can delete this code. We're gonna leave the forward there so I don't have to type it again. So keeping our boilerplate code there ready to go, uh, we now can sit down and obviously code our hexagon. So if I wanted to now sit down and create my hexagon, I just need to code the interaction for the how far it's going to turn. So I'm gonna say my turtle dot left. And then if you've seen the previous video, you would know that instead of having to actually calculate how many degrees it turns, I can be a little bit cheeky here and just say that I know there's gonna be six sides. So I'm gonna do 360 degrees divided by six. So if I copy and paste that, uh, what's that? Two, three, four, five, six times. Okay, and then we run our code. We will get our hexagon. So we are sort of starting to draw for you there and then it gets around uh, and finishes off back where our turtle was at the beginning there. So the hexagon, obviously nice and easy. If we did want to go and change this to a pentagon really quickly, we can obviously delete one side. We go back and change each of these to just five sides now. Okay, so again, we don't have to calculate the angle. We can run that one in our module. I can grab that for you off my other screen and it'll draw a perfect pentagon for us that time around as well. So you can see the power of using this uh, 360 divided by the number of sides uh, sitting there, which is going to make things much, much faster for you uh, in the long run. So that's it for this video here. Obviously the hexagon super quick and easy for us to make after we know those basics from building the triangle. And then you can see how that works for a pentagon as well really quickly in the end there. So next, in the next series of videos, we're going to be looking at how we can make this code more efficient by adding in what we call a loop. And I hope to see you over in that next video.